Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful heart earrings that will be a great jewelry for the Saint Valentine's Day and uh, I'm making them with Super Duos, Eleveno and HO beads that you could find in any beading store. They are also easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. Feel free to ask me anything in the comments, I'll answer to all of your questions. If you want to support me, it's a good idea also to subscribe and hit the bell button. In this way, you will be inspired often, usually two times a week. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my Bijuteo Fast Clips channel also linked in description and if you like subscribe there as well thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are 11 and 8 beads in this beautiful golden color here i use red super duo beads that could also be called twin beads depending on the manufacturer they are so extremely beautiful and with two holes these are Earring findings in gold color, you could use any type of earring findings you like. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers. The pliers are not obligatory, I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, so now I'm going to take about 4 feet on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up one super duo, one a bit, and then one more super duo. Okay, this is what I have initially on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread, I will stick my needle in my mat almost until the end of my thread. And now guys, what I do is that I go through the empty hole of the same super duo that I'm exiting out of and I'm holding my tail thread guys. Okay, I'm pushing those together like this. You see what I have now. Now I'm going to take one seed bead. And as I'm exiting from this hole, the second hole of this super duo, I'm going through the empty hole of the first super duo. And I'm still holding this tail thread. Okay, this first step might be a little bit difficult. But from here on, it will be extremely easy, I promise. Okay, so now guys, I have this. And now I have my main thread and my tail thread meeting here, you see. And what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And I'm pulling again. Okay, so now this knot could be seen from this side, but we'll fix this later because here we'll have another bit to hide it. Okay, so now what I do is that I go in this direction. Okay, and I'm exiting from this side. You see, now this is what I have. And from here on, I will continue the same way. I'm taking a seed bit. I'm taking a super duo, I'm sliding those down just like this. Then I turn this super duo in this direction and I go through its empty hole. So I'm exiting from this hole and I go through its other empty hole. Okay. Now 
I have this one turned in this side. Okay, and now I'm going to take just one A2 and I go here through this super do just like that and I pull. Okay, so now I have this. Then I go back through those beads. Okay. Showing one more time the same thing. An 11 0 a super do, slide those down like this. Then go through its empty hole. Okay. Changing directions, but don't worry, it's part of the process. Then I go through this super do. And I go back here through these beads in this direction. Okay. Now I have four super duos and three splitters with eight o's and eleven o's. And I want to have six splitters with eight o's and eleven o's and seven super duos. Okay, so it's the same thing. Slide those down, go back through the super do, take just one, go here. Okay, and I will continue these guys until I have seven super do's and six atos, and I'll be back. Okay, and when I added two more super duos, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six eightos and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven super duos. And now I will change something in my pattern. I will, will take an 11 0 super duo. It's just what I did before. Slide it down. Then I'm going through the empty hole of this super duo. I take just one more of these beautiful 11 o's and I go back through this super do. So it's the same thing. The only difference is that I don't add 8 o's but just 11 o's from both sides. This is the only difference that I do. Okay, and I pull here. And now, guys, I need to do this step three more times and I'll show you one more time and let you do the other two times by yourself. Okay, I'm showing one more time. Super do, go through its hole. 11 0. Go through the previous super do's hole. And then back here through this super do and through the last one. Okay. Repeat this step two more times at two super do's divided by two 11 o's, and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Now, what I have here after I added two more super do's divided by two 11 o's is that I have 11 super do's here at this row. And they are divided by 10 rows. Uh, six of them are with 8 0 beads, and four of them are only with 11 0 beads. Okay, so now a part of my heart is forming. And what I need to add to make this bottom part of my heart is to slide down this super do without adding any splitter here. You see, these are both next to each other. Then I'm going again through the empty hole of this bit. Okay. And what I need to take is one seed bit, one super do, and one seed bit. And what I do is that I go through this hole here, back in circle. Okay, and I pull. 
and now I have this bottom of my heart ready okay going one more time through those two beads that are touching next to each other without splitter and what I usually do is that I reinforce this part one more time because this bead at the edge has the tendency to move too much and I want it stable there Okay. then I will go back through those beads in this direction and exit here now guys I'm going to repeat what I did from these sides so what I need to add next are one two three four super duos divided by 11 o's and I will show you just the first step 11 o super do slide those down go through the empty hole of the same super do that you just added take just one seed bead go back here and then go back in this direction okay then repeat this step absolutely the same step three more times if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind the video see what i'm doing from here and repeat it okay see you in a while okay guys and as i repeated this step three more times now i have four super duos divided by four uh, 11 0 beats and now i'm going to show you my next step which maybe you know what it would be i'm taking an 11 0 and a super do slide those down go through the empty hole of the same super do and here to make your curve take an eight okay then i go here through this super do and i go back through this super do and the next bit okay and now if you remember here i had seven super duos divided by six eight o's when you have six eight o's here added i will be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys now i have my six eight o's added and here I also have my 680 and now I'm going to show you how I'm connecting this into a heart okay so I take a super do an 80 and a super do and I'm going to slide those down okay I'm exiting as you may see from this inner hole here of my heart pushing those together then I go through the empty hole of this super do you see empty hole that is to the center of my work okay then I take this one and I just added this bit here at the center and what I want to do is reinforce my work one more time Okay, I'm going through those beats one more time. Okay, like that. Now, what I do is that I go in the same place uh, here at the other side of my heart and what I want to do is connect it, okay? Going here in this super do. And now this is what I have. Now, what I do, guys, is that I go here at the inner side of my work through all of those beads. I go through here through all of those beads. And I want to exit here 
and go one more time through those beats okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and i went around this inner side one more time and now i'm exiting here where i want to attach one more time my work here and reinforce it and you could do several reinforcement of this heart at the sides and at the center whatever you like and when you're ready you should exit here at this beat attach a jump ring or make a beaded loop and attach your earring finding okay so now i'm going to do this with three seed beads my earring finding and then again three more seed beads okay i have this and i'm going back in circle through this bead here if your work has a back and front be careful how you attach your earring finding now i don't have a front and a back everything is the same from both sides that is why i didn't pay attention how i attach it okay so now i'm going to reinforce this part and make a knot okay reinforce this part several times as many times as you can let's say three or four times and when you're ready go here through some beads in this direction maybe at this stage it's difficult to go through your beads because you've been so many times through them already okay so now guys it's time to find a place and make a knot let's say i'll put it here at my a2 not to be that visible okay so now i'm making here a loop and i'm going once then i'm going second time through this loop i've made i pull now guys i could repeat this knot several more times when i'm ready i go through the following seed bead after uh, the knot never cut next to a knot but go after uh, the next seed bead and then cut your thread okay guys now my saint valentine's heart earrings with super dew beads are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually two times a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you could also check my second channel bijutel fast clips and if you like it subscribe there as well thank you so much for watching bye bye from me